So today we went for a bench slight shoulder protection day. Um, I kind of stayed away from like you know incline bench press. Um, did bench press, but switched some things up. But as you see, we're starting out with a bench assisted bench press, which you do a glute bridge and you turn make make a T with the bench to press, and that's going to allow that range of motion to stop right before you're going past 90 degrees to keep safety for your shoulder. Next, we're moving on to just a regular bench press. But what I like to do with this is I like to do what's called a power lifter's bench, and that means bend the bar. When you bend the bar, your elbows flare in instead of out. You're stronger here. So bring those elbows in. We're gonna do two sets of 10, two sets of five, and then two sets of two. And um, that was kind of my, my pyramid method today. Um, not feeling very strong at all, to be honest. It's kind of hard coming off of I haven't been going full steam ahead on bench and um, it's kind of uh, demotivating uh, but I have to realize what I've come through from that time and it's it's tough coming from you know slight injuries and stuff like that and um, dude, dude, it's tough it's tough and I, I was I'm thankful that I'm able to do what I can now um, it's not a big issue I can still do a lot of things it's just that mentally I'm scared to really you know go all out like I used to on bench going for 500 pounds or something like that I feel like if I didn't come to this issue I would probably be on my way to 600 pound bench press like no lie but it's all good I gotta work my way back up I've been here before got myself out of it and um, I'm actually I'm glad that I, I went through this because now I can you, you guys see where I'm at like I just did you know like I'm doing four or five or whatever for two presses and um, you'll see the struggle with the two presses like the, my mind my, my backs up like I'm really giving it everything to do it and it's just it's tough after that um, we're gonna do some volume work we're gonna get on a, a decline uh, press machine um, we're just gonna go for straight up how many reps did I do 10 20, 20 reps we're gonna do four sets of 20 um, explosive reps giving it as much as you can i um, just trying to be, I like to move everything fast, so I'm trying to move, even if it's heavy, I'm trying to move it with all my force as fast as I can. Like I said, four sets of 20, we want to add in that volume work to the routine. Um, I like to mix it, I like to mix the strength and the volume. You know, when it comes to volume, sometimes it equal, equals endurance because when you're trying to train heavy and trying to get reps done, you know, you're building that, that, that muscular endurance as well as that strength. And uh, that's a really key, important thing. Um, also for, for building, you know, chest strength, endurance, and you know the amount of weight that you can like doing a 225 test. You know, 
But anyways, we're moving on to flies right now. Um, I did what? Damn, how many reps did I do? Four sets of 16. So we're doing four sets of 16. Apologies. I, I, sometimes I forget what I did in the workout. But we did four sets of 16, focusing on that inner chest, not going all the way out. See, a lot of people, what they do with the chest flies, they like to come all the way extremely out to try to get a super stretch. Um, I stopped doing that because it's a big toll and strain to the shoulder, to the rotator cuff, and you can easily tear a pec um, with these movements. So I'm just trying to teach you guys to be a little bit more safer. So what I do is I kind of like to make a 90 degree angle with my elbows, come out like this, bring my chest out a little bit more, breathe into my chest, let my chest expand instead of trying to breathe, bring my shoulders back, breathe, and then come in, come in like I'm squeezing, squeezing in between. So doing that. To that, we do prayer press, four to five sets of 10 to 12 reps. And what you're doing is you're just doing like a prayer with the plate and you're pressing up. As your arms come in, you're gonna squeeze that chest and you'll feel just how full your chest can get after this routine. It's a really great addition to add on to finish out a workout. guys enjoyed the workout and um, you know the information that I've given you so make sure you like share the video uh, hit the notifications button I'll be doing a, a big giveaway and uh, see you guys later